Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I will show you how to fit up flanges on both ends of an eccentric reducer. Put the reducer on a straight plate. Hold a right angle at the large side of the reducer and gently rotate the reducer back and forth until the face of the reducer face is square to the right angle. Put packing on both sides of the reducer. Hold a right angle at the center of the large face of the reducer, move the right angle until it is exactly at the center. Mark lines on the top and bottom sides. Mark centers at the smaller ends also. Put the reducer on supports. Plumb the reducer and put packing on both sides. Put flange in the gap rod. Arrange proper supports below the flange. Plumb the flange through the holes as shown. Tack weld on the top side of the joint. Check the vertical plumbness, if correct, tack weld at the bottom side. If the gap is correct, tack weld on sides. Check the vertical and hole plumbness. Put the gap rod and flange on the smaller side of the reducer. Correct the hole plumbness of the flange. Tack weld on the top side. Correct the vertical plumbness. And tack weld below. Hold an aluminium box or a straight edge, horizontally as shown, on both ends. The boxes shall be of the same level. Check the length of the spool on both sides, if the dimensions are equal or an acceptable limit, tack weld on both sides. Thank you for watching.